Welcome to Day 4 of Soothing Pod's Beginner Series. In today's meditation, we'll work on making room for whatever comes up during our practice without attachment or aversion. As our meditation deepens, we discover a very useful skill that allows us to go with the flow both during practice and in everyday life. This skill is called equanimity. Equanimity teaches us to be present with whatever we're experiencing without becoming attached or averse to what's happening. So rather than trying to hold on to something pleasant or to push away something that's not, we're just letting things be exactly as they are. You see, when we either try to block what we dislike or cling to what we like, we're creating hardship for ourselves. Without even realizing it, we're fighting against life. And let's be clear, equanimity is not about dulling anything, and it certainly isn't like indifference. Instead, it's a state of mind that allows us to stay open and balanced so that we can respond to what's going on with clarity rather than reactivity. In our practice, equanimity teaches us to recognize whatever arises, whether it's a thought, an emotion, or a sensation. And rather than hardening or gripping, we just allow things to be exactly as they are, knowing they will eventually shift and pass. Equanimity is such a useful skill to bring out of our meditation practice and into our daily lives. As we learn to hold situations without pushing them away or grabbing onto them, we create a sense of calm and ease, even during challenging times. So let's begin. Take a moment to adjust your position and right from the start, bring an equanimity so that you approach your whole practice with openness. Create a sense of softness, even to the way you're sitting. So, although there is effort to sit tall, there is also ease. And now, tune into your breath, letting it become a touchstone. Just lightly resting your attention on the ebb and flow of your breath. And let your attention widen so that you feel your breath moving in and out, and you also leave room for whatever else is present. Without seeking anything out, just notice whatever it is you notice without getting involved in it. You might notice sounds in the room around you, and you could mentally say to yourself, sound, or even listening. Perhaps you'll feel sensations in your body, your hands tingling or your belly growling, and you could silently note sensation, or you can identify it tingling or growling. Or maybe you become aware of a particular emotion and rather than getting caught up in it or putting it into a box of good or bad, you simply note the emotion rise and then eventually fall away. You might silently label it emotion or perhaps naming it sadness, peace, or frustration. Just noting what comes up in your experience and then letting it go and returning to your breath. And you can do the same with your thoughts or distractions. In fact, as soon as you notice that you're thinking, you've already broken the cycle of thought. Just silently note to yourself thinking or thought and then come back to the breath again. And 
and rather than suppressing anything, just make room for your experience with a sense of equanimity. It's as though you're becoming an open container for all of your thoughts, emotions, and sensations to move through you. Now, gently bring yourself back into the room around you, and when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Great job on completing your fourth session. Try to bring equanimity into the rest of your day. Notice when you start to tense up or resist what's happening, and bring a little ease into the situation. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.